everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do this adorably evil Cthulhu nail art design. If you don't know what Cthulhu is, sit tight. Or you can click here to skip the backstory and go straight to the tutorial. Since his death in 1937, H.P. Lovecraft's haunting tales of madness and the otherworldly have achieved cult status. While the stories themselves are rather dated, Lovecraft's nihilistic brand of horror is timeless. His stories deal with strange occult phenomena that lurk menacingly at the edges of human comprehension. To glimpse them is to know mind-bending cosmic terrors that humanity is helpless against. Lovecraft's most famous creation is the Elder God Cthulhu, who lies in wait beneath the sea. This monolithic tentacled being has become an icon in pop culture, from TV to board games and memes, and hey look, he's even been chibified. A lot. It's like he doesn't even scare us anymore. So, let us dive into the ancient ruins of Relay, where dead Cthulhu waits dreaming. Or giggling, or something. I don't know what I was going for. Here's what you'll need. A base and top coat, as always. Medium and dark blue nail polishes, plus a textured polish, the darker the better. A makeup sponge, latex barrier, detail brush, and acrylic paint in black, white, yellow, and green. Start by painting your nails with your medium blue polish, and apply a light to dark gradient with your makeup sponge. Don't forget to use a base coat, as some blues can stain. When it's opaque, remove your latex barrier if you used one, and clean up using a brush and acetone. Apply a top coat and let it dry. Next, mix light and dark gray acrylic paint on a palette or paper plate. You'll also want to prepare light and dark green the same way. Starting with dark gray, paint a line across the tips of your nails, which will be the ocean floor. Then, paint some lumpy rock shapes on your index, ring, and pinky fingers. There's no rhyme or reason to this, so do whatever shapes you want. Now to paint some ruins. Lovecraft really liked to fixate on unusual architecture, so I'm going to paint some pointed pillars with unnatural angles, and probably some more rocks to fill the space. I also decided to paint a broken Corinthian column, because who says Relay can't also be Atlantis? Once you're happy with your seabed, outline everything in your light gray paint. This will really make it pop against the dark blue background. Once complete, it's time to paint Cthulhu. Paint the ocean floor if you haven't already. Then, using your dark green paint, make a circle about two-thirds of the way up your nail to be Cthulhu's head, and squiggly lines coming off the head to be tentacles, two arms coming off the side, and two little legs at the bottom. Then two wings extending out from his shoulders. I also made them pointed like bat wings. Outline Cthulhu's features in light green. It's okay if your dark green base isn't perfect, because as you can see, the light green outlining gives it definition. And then give him two inverted V-shapes for eyes. So there's your Cthulhu! The hard part is over. Now I'm just going to go in and add some details, like seaweed using my light green paint. And a couple of fish, just painting a gold circle and two fins coming off the back. And some bubbles, white dots with blue dots inside them. After applying top coat, it's time for your textured polish. Come in and make short strokes all along the ground, careful not to cover up too much of your design. It's important to put this on after your top coat, so that it stays bumpy. And there's the finished design, Happy Cthulhu dreaming away in the ruins of Relay. Please give me a thumbs up or let me know in the comments below if you like this look, I'm really quite proud of it. And if you want to read some Lovecraftian fiction, I'll put a link below to where you can read his stories for free. I recommend starting with Pikmin's Model, a personal favorite, and also to HP Lovecraft Live where you can listen to his stories. Thanks so much for watching.